In this video, you will learn how to build a driver for the IC104 master. So for this video, I already implement one slave in other computer. This slave is also made by Ellipse history and this slave will already have some tag with different data format. So this is floating point, long double point with timestamp, single point with timestamp. I chose this for demo. And we have the common indication. We are going to send command from master to slave. So this is my slave side. I go back to my master slide. And I will insert one driver here. And this is based on this driver, DLL. 104. I will choose this file. Then I will choose 104 master and I will choose the default value for my demo. So I don't have to modify anything unless if the documentation of your equipment says otherwise, then you can just use the default value. Then I go to the setup and I will choose Ethernet communication. So in my internet, I will type here the address of my slave. And the port, default port for 104 is 24104. Then in our kit, I can choose the physical layer to check if the two driver can communicate. And I can check the documentation because in this documentation for the 104 driver, I have very useful information that I can use to implement my driver. For example, I can check the information for N1, N2, N3, N4. N1 is the station address. N2 is the function. N3 is data type. N4 is data address. So N1 will be 1 because my slave address is 1. Then for the function, I will use the read event from cache, which is the value 5. In my case, it's 5. And 2 is 5. Or this is for the IO4 slave, if I want to read from it. Then the ASDU, I can use some special tag if I want. For example, I have a test link. I have a common indication, I have a slap state, so let's choose this one for demo. So I'll choose 1, 992, and then I can read the slave not connected or slave connected. So for example here I can have my first arrow tag, which is the slave state, then it will be 1, 992, then here this one is read only. Then here I can have two different one is measurement and I will prepare one for the comment. So here I insert one is for the comment. So in measurement I will insert four tag and actually I can choose from here. I can read this four tag from the slip side. So the first one is ASDU 13, which is a long float. So I can write float. This one will be long. This one is a double point with timestamp. And this one is second point with timestamp. So here I write the address of my slave. Then, as you know, I explained five for the function. And this is the SVU type for the format. So this one is 13, this one is 15, this one is 31, and 30. If you want to 
try other data format, you can go to the document and you will find the list here from the page 27. You will find all the monitor data type. For example, if I choose go to 30, this one is floating point IEE STD 754, which is standard for floating point. And this one is just read only. So I can just try this first. So I activate my driver and I may have to check something because here my slave state is zero means that I have a problem with communication. Also the physical layer report one, which is not the value I expect, I will expect two. So let's go to check the slave side. The slave side, the driver is not activated, which is a good sign. So I just activate my slave and if I go back, I will see the same problem here. So I can check again. So when you have this problem, you have to check several points. First, you have to check if the port is fine. So 2404, I listen connection. Then the type is Ethernet. The type is 104 slave. So this is correct. So, also, if you have this problem here, oh, the communication is okay now, so maybe it takes some time. So here, the physical lag is 2, this means that the communication is okay, and then slave state is a specific tag for 104, so also report the communication is now is okay. So this first tag, physical layer that you have nothing to do with our 104. It's just a common tag for all the protocol that you can use from our kit. You can use to just check if the communication between two driver is okay. This one is specific tag for the IC 104. You can use this tag also to check the communication. Okay, now we want to test these four tags. So I will going to give a value here. So this floating point, I can make a floating point along. So I'm going to have a long. This is a single point with stamp stamp. So I can write three. And this is a single single point with stamp stamp. So I'm going to use one. So if I go back here. I don't see my address. The value is wrong. Why? Because here the address doesn't match with the address I give here. So to troubleshoot this, I just found out that this address doesn't match. So here I can write 1, 2, 3, 4. Then I activate again and I give a value again this is for the long this is for double point and this one for single point so I go back here and I will deactivate put the correct address and activate again then we have the same value here exactly the same with the one I have here so I can compare the two. The value are the same. So you can quickly build one one of four slave just based on the documentation. And for the comment, I'm going to implement three tag. The first one is for select, second one is for operate, second one is for cancel. So for IOC, IC104, I can check a very special function type.
So this is for the comment. So here I can check what I need. Here select is 10, execute or operate is 11, and deactivate is cancel is 12. And this is just write only. So here I'm going to set write only. And this one is 111, my address. This one I'm going to use 10. Operate is 11, cancel is 12. That we just see. Also for the entry, I'm going to check what I do I need. So also same based on the communication. I'm going to check what value I need for the entry. So in SDU, I need to check which one I can use for the common data type. So here I have found out a chapter called common data type. So here as a reminder, it gives me the SDU for entry, 10 select, 11 execute, 12 for cancel. So it's the same value as one here. 10, 11, 12, 10, 11, 12, select, execute, deactivate. Then if I go down, I can find a single command or double command. So I'm going to choose this one, double command. Zero, off, and on. Or I can also use like single command. This is double point, this is single point. So double comment here, I'm going to use 46. So here I just write 46. 46. And I'm going to send this recommend is on the same one, same address. And I'm going to check here if the address is the same. So here is 200. Then 1, 4, 46, 200. So this is correct. This function is for the CMD indication. CMD indication is one block that received the information for the comment. So the indication here, common indication, you will have the different supported ASDU. So I choose this one, 46, which is double comment. And I have the element. So the first element is common value, so it's dependent on the common type. So if I choose the double, it's 0, 1, 2, or 3. Element 1 is cause of transmission, 6 is activate, 8 deactivate, and element 2 is select or execute. So I'm going to keep in mind this, and I will see what the value can be received here. So I go back and I activate my driver. So, I'm going to reduce this that we can see in real time. Okay, and here I'm going to just write zero. So, here I just select zero so as a result, here I have some indication. So what actually zero means? If I go back my documentation and I check the double point, which is 446, the value is not permitted. So I can just write one or two to have a valid value actually. So off and on. So I will choose for the value 1. The first step is to select. So now I just select. So here I have 1, 6, 1. What does it mean? 
I check my document and I can check here the first value element is a common value so I just press 1 so this value here is the one I have on the first one then element 2 is select or execute so 6 is activate so the cause of transmission is I activate the comment and select or execute one is select so here one it means select so now I just will change I just will operate so I go back here and I have the same one six but now it's just operate it means zero element three then if I cancel and if I check cancel here deactivate is zero so I should have eight which is deactivate so this is how I can check the status when I receive a command from the IC 104 master so this protocol is quite easy to understand and to implement the the commutation here is very important and it will give you all information you need to build your tag so check the documentation and you can follow this demo to start your first driver thank you